What's up, homies? My name is Sly Foxyana and welcome. We are about to beat Metal Gear. It's gonna take us a little bit, but we are pretty much at the corner stretch. The home stretch, as they say, because corner stretch doesn't really sound as good. Let's see how we go about doing this. Okay, what is this? Oh, shaft grenades. Okay, 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 okay. So for this, we're gonna have to wear the chaffies. Uh well actually I can grab. This here. Oh fuck! I threw it in my head. No! Can I grab anything this here? What is this? What is this over here? What is this? Oh fuck! Come on! Oh fuck! Fuck! Ah! Shit! Ah! No! Shaf it up! Bang! <laughs> Bye. Open sesamo. Aha. Where are we? Uh oh. Ah, we here, we Oh man, here it is, here it is, here it is, here it is. Uh, uh. Oh, it's Metal Gear. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, look at that beauty! So nice. What? Snake, it's me. Hey, Alcon. Did you find a good place to hide? Yeah, thanks to the stealth gear. Oh, lucky stealth it gear. Looks like they finished getting Metal Gear ready. How do you know that? I overheard them talking. Where are you now? Right in front of Metal Gear, but it's strange. What is? There's nobody here. No guards. Nobody patrolling. Huh. It's too quiet. Maybe because they're all ready. They said they even input the PAL code. What? What should I do? All we can do is use the override system that President Baker told you about. But I've only got one of the three keys. And besides that, like Ocelot said, there's some trick to using the keys. Leave it to me. You got some kind of plan? Well... I'm in the computer room right Ooh. now. I'm trying to access Baker's private files. Baker's files? Don't you need a password? Of course, but there are ways. Oh, you are snake. You yep, that describes me pretty well. Yep. Does it look like you can get in? <laughs> I don't know yet. I'll give it a try. I'm counting on you. Come on, Otacon. Come on, this is for all the brownies. All the brownies in the world. Those are a lot of brownies if you think about it. So come on. Oh, the brownies. Oh, what is this? Yes, chaff. I need chaffy. The chaff, chaff, chaff. The chaff grenade. What the fuck? Come on. Snake, it's me. Again. Hi. How's it going? <laughs> uh, not bad. I just got past his third security level. He was a pretty careful guy. Ooh. Do you think you'll break in soon? I never met a system I couldn't bust into. Okay, keep trying. Thank you, Alakon, for the update. Now back to you, Steak, where the real action is. Ha! Here we go. Come on, Snake. Champ of champs. What do you got over here? Wait, let me just check. Uh, doesn't look like anything. There's some items, but just in case, thermal. Ooh, famas. Uh, there's something over here. Ooh, more chaffy. Chaffy taffy. What we got right here? Oh, what is this? Stinger missiles, what the hell? Am I really gonna need that many stinger missiles? I forget. I forget! Wow! Come on, snake. It's boogie. Uh, 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 climbing up. Uh, 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 uh. What? Snake, I did it. You got past security? Bingo. Bingo. Great. 
Oh, 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 oh. I accessed the confidential Metal Gear file. So what about the PAL override system that Baker talked about? I haven't found it yet. Oh, thanks. That's what I need to know. But Snake, I found something else. What? The secret behind the new nuclear weapon. Just as I thought, the nuclear warhead is designed to be fired from the railgun like a projectile. Oh, shit. It doesn't use fuel, so it isn't considered a missile. That way it can get around all sorts of international treaties. Pretty sneaky. Wow. Effective. And that's not even the scariest thing about this weapon. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. <laughs> it's a stealth weapon. Yes. You yes. Show up on radar. Yes. Yeah. That's fucked the up. The truth is, they've been working on a stealth missile since the late 70s. Why weren't they able to develop one until now? Because of the missile rocket propulsion system. It would be picked up by enemy satellites. Oh yeah, that makes sense. But unlike a missile, the railgun doesn't burn any propellant, so it can't be detected by any current ballistic missile detection systems. Oh, look at that. An invisible nuclear warhead. Totally impossible to intercept. Yeah, that sucks. And on top of that, it's got a surface-piercing warhead designed to penetrate hardened underground bases. Yeah, we learned that lesson in the Gulf War. This thing could mean the end of the world. It's the ultimate weapon. And from a political point of view, it avoids the problem of nuclear reduction and nuclear inspections. Colonel, is this true? Are you listening? God I'm damn listening. it! Colonel! If this got out, it could delay the signing of the START Three Treaty and cause a huge international incident. Yeah, it would be nasty. The United States would be denounced by the UN. It could even bring the president down. Great! Did you know this, Colonel? Great, great, great stuff. I'm sorry. <sighs> Colonel, you're a I won't bitch. Make any excuses. At this Snake, point, you can't listen, make any. This new nuclear weapon, it's never actually been tested, only simulated. Simulated? You mean they ran a computer model? Yeah, that's why they were conducting this exercise. They needed to get actual experimental data to back up the simulation. What were the results of the exercise? It looks like it went better than they hoped for. Oh, shit. But I can't find the data anywhere on this network. You'd think the data as important as that would be carefully recorded. It was. President Baker gave me an optical disc with all of the test data. What? Do you still have it? No. Ocelot. Not for you, Colonel. Colonel, Colonel, you the fucker. I hate you. The dummy warhead with a real warhead. Once they input the detonation codes, they should be ready to launch. So you think they can do it? Ah, well, come on. The warhead was designed to be identical to the real thing, so I think so. Did you find out how to override it yet? Not yet. It must be in a separate file. Uh -oh. Right now I'm looking through all of Baker's personal files. We're counting on you. Thank you. Here we go. Now some action. Ba ba da ba da ba ba. Alright. The one that I'm really gonna be interested in listening to is gonna be Metal Gear 2. Cause it has some really fucked up weird like presidential oh fuck. Can I kill that guy or not? I guess not. You're dead. Oh fuck, you found me! It was a surprise! Ah, oh, you found me too! No! Surprise! I'm gonna die here if I don't... Fuck! Stop! No! Ah, oh, fuck me! Why did I do that? Come on, Sly! I'm so- I'm sorry, I'm sorry! I fucked up! I tried to- Oh, no! Mainly don't cry! No, mainly no cry! Wait. Ah, fuck it, it was- Wait, no, it was shaft grenades that we found over there. I'll pick them up later, after this. Yes, I'm gonna skip this. Like I never skipped anything before. Come on! Yes, Kono, yes, yes, you're a liar, you're a shit. I hate you, you suck. Your hair smells like, like, like nothing that I ever imagined. Smells like camel toe with a little bit of diaper. I don't appreciate that. Let's go. Oh, do I have a rachel? Of course I have no rachel. Fuck! I need one of those. Alright, so let's see if we can figure out. Alright.
I wish it. Oh, okay. No, I thought it was this region. Fuck. Uh, I should probably put a thermal so I can actually see what's. Oh, hello. SOCOM bullets. Where we at? Where we at? No. Fuck. Snake. Yes. Did you find it? No. I haven't found out about the override system yet, but I found Baker's ulterior motive. Oh shit. He's just looking to get rich, isn't he? Well, that's part of it. Armstech is in much worse financial trouble than I thought. I know they lost their bid to make the next generation fighter jet. That plus the reduction in SDI spending. It looks like there was even some talk of a hostile takeover. What? Everything was riding on this project, I guess. And it looks like we were paying a lot of bribe money to the DARPA chief. Bribe money, huh? Yeah. And Baker was a big proponent of the nuclear deterrent theory. I see. So anyway, what about the override? Just give me a little bit longer. I've been giving you a lot longer. back I want to see where he is oh shit there he is got him Woo. Jesus all right now this is gonna be interesting and by the way interesting is uh, it's gonna be a bitch cuz we're gonna be having to come here three times Three wonderful, amazing times. You'll see why. Okay, I've entered the PAL codes and disengaged the safety device. We can launch any time. There's still no response from Washington. It looks like we'll have to show them that we mean business. Uh-oh. Should I set it for Chernerton, Russia? Why Russia Look, first? There's been a change. The new target is Lopnor, China. Lopnor? Why, boss? I'm sure neither you nor Mr. Golukovich would really like to see a nuclear bomb dropped on your motherland, right? Liquid. But why? There's nothing there. Wrong. It's a nuclear test site. A nuclear test site? If we nuke a major population center, the game's over. But a nuclear explosion at a test site can still be concealed from the public. Meanwhile, Washington will be worried about the retaliatory strike from China. Ah. It'll probably mean top secret talks between both countries' leaders. Of course. And in the process, the president will be forced to divulge the existence of a new and highly destabilizing nuclear weapon to the Chinese. What do you think that will do to the U.S.'s reputation? Or the president's? And with the CTBT, that means that China and India, I see. Yes. When the other countries hear about this new weapon, they'll all want to contact us. Washington won't be very happy when we start <laughs> selling their own system to the highest bidders. Yes, the president will break. He will give in to our demands. Big Boss's DNA and one billion dollars. Billion dollars? That money will be used to cure our genome soldiers as well. I'm also including the Fox Dye vaccine in our demands. Nice! Fox it killed Octopus and the arms tech president. So it's true oh. that it affects older people first. Mantis might not have been affected because he wore a mask. Wolf wasn't infected either. Perhaps due to those tranquilizers she always took. What the fuck? Something to do with the adrenaline level in the blood. Or maybe it's just because this fox dye was still experimental and they haven't worked out all the bugs yet. In any case, have you heard from your friend, Colonel Sergei Golukovich, at the Spetsnaz? He still has doubts about the ability of Metal Gear. He said we can talk after Metal Gear's test launch is successful. Oh, hmm. he's a very prudent man. There's nothing to worry about. The Colonel wants Metal Gear and a new nuclear weapon so bad he can taste it. <laughs> If Russia wants to regain its position as a military superpower, they need to reinforce their nuclear arsenal. They need a nuclear weapon that can't be intercepted. Metal Gear will allow them to gain first strike capability over the rest. Whoa, 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 what is going on? Of the world. What 
No, no, don't do this. Don't, if I gotta skip the scene, I'll skip it. Skip the scene. Oh my God, what the fuck? Snake, I found Baker's top oh great, files. I'm glad. Great job. What How's is it? There? They've finished inputting the PAL codes. So how do we deactivate them? Okay, you see the override system that the president was talking about. It can also be used to input the detonation codes. You see, if you insert the keys when the warhead is active, you deactivate it. Oh. And if you insert them when it's inactive, it becomes activated. And you can only use the keys once. Only once, huh? Yeah. You better get started. We don't have much time. But it takes three keys, right? I've only got one of them. Hold on a minute. You see, that's the trick. You already have all three keys. What is this shenanigans? What are you talking about? The card key is made of a shape memory alloy. Shape memory alloy? Yes. It's a material that changes shape at different temperatures. Oh. The key is made out of it. This card key? Yeah. The card key changes shape at different temperatures. So this key is actually three keys in one. Clever. Dope! Can you see the input terminals in the center of the control room? I see them. Those three laptop terminals are for the emergency input. There should be a symbol on each screen. Each symbol corresponds to a different key. Input the keys in order from left to right. Okay. The left one's for the room temperature key. See the symbol? Next to that goes the low temperature key. The one on the right is the high temperature key. Okay, I got it. First I change the shape of the card and then I input them in order, right? That's right. All you do is insert the card keys. After you insert the key into the module, a hard disk reads the information contained on it. Once you've finished with all three terminals, the code input process is complete. But here's the thing. You can only use the key three times. It's an emergency system. It's only meant to be used once. The world is riding on that key, Snake. Who's that? Ah, oh, shit! Damn! Where the fuck does it go? The key fell in the drainage ditch. Snake! This um. is bulletproof glass. There's no way in. I'll enjoy watching you die. Ah. Uh. <laughs> well, look at that. Ain't that a bitch? Hmm. Snake, you've got to get that key. That's oh okay, fun. Hey, thank you so much for watching. If you guys really enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like. It shows your support. And if you guys want to watch more videos like this, then subscribe so you never miss a video. Woo!